This video is going to cover setting up 2D Toolkit for use with the Spine Unity runtime. So step one, download the regular Spine Unity package and import that into Unity. Step two, get your 2D Toolkit package and import that into Unity. Everything. Okay, now that we're all imported, uh, go to Edit, Preferences, and go to the Spine Preference uh, setting and choose TK2D Enable. And you should get a warning down here saying that it's setting scripting defined symbol Spine TK2D. This sets a compiler directive uh, across the entire project and all target platforms uh, of Spine underscore TK2D. Uh, that enables a couple of additional scripts in the Spine Unity folder, in particular the Sprite Collection Attachment Loader, which enables loading from Sprite Collections as well as Atlases. Uh, so I'm going to create a, a folder as an example of uh, the import process for a uh, 2D Toolkit Sprite Collection driven Spine Skeleton. Uh, I'm going to create a folder called Skeleton just because I have a project already set up. Uh, I'm going to export just the JSON uh, without uh, the Atlas. When I come back into Unity, the auto importer is going to say, hey, we can't find the Atlas, what's up? Uh, so I'm actually going to tell it to select the Atlas, and then minimize itself for some reason, and it's going to say we don't know what to do. In this case, I don't actually have a Atlas, so I'm going to click Finish without selecting anything uh, to force the importer to at least generate uh, the skeleton data asset. So now, because we have TK2D enabled, we have both the Atlas assets drop down as well as the sprite collection field uh, for pulling in a sprite collection from 2D Toolkit. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is create an images folder under here, uh, and I'm going to bring in my images from that spine project like so. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is create a new T uh, TK2D sprite collection. I'm going to name it uh, Skeleton Images or something like that. Choose Open, drag all of my images in there, uh, go to Settings and choose Pre-Multiply Alpha and hit Commit. There we go. So now, uh, when I go back and select the skeleton data, I can now drill down into skeleton images data, and I can drag the skeleton images sprite collection data object onto this field, and now we're back to normal uh, sprite operation. And that's pretty much it. Have fun.